Um, so let's get right into the thing I think is probably one of the most crucial elements to the app bringing people together, which is what this is all about. And that's validating dives. And, you know, I see this all the time at my other job, you know, where I work at the aquarium, I see divers from all over the world every night. And uh, a lot of people aren't aware that there are other agencies out there which still blows my mind with the internet and everything. I'll say, hey, I can validate your dive. As a dive professional, as a dive ma- or instructor, or dive master, whatever, we can validate your dive so you can get like official credit for it. You don't always need that, but it's, it's both fun and sometimes necessary when you're going for certain benchmarks. Exactly. And we get caught up and, and they'll say, oh, I'm SSI or I'm Patty or I'm Nowie. I, I'm not the same one as you. And I said, no, that's the reason why I use the Buddy app because it works for all agencies in an official capacity, which I think is probably something that got missed everywhere else, but might be one of the most critical factors out there. Well, I mean, I'm glad that you say that. I mean, this is kind of where the whole idea for Buddy kind of started. I was on a vacation in the Rosario Islands and I was diving and I wanted to have my dive log validated digitally. They were a different agency than the app that I currently had. They couldn't do it digitally. Okay, so they did it on paper for me. But then I had my paper log and then I have this one digital agency log. And I just, you know, really wish that I could have gotten it signed. It was like one of my favorite dive places and and shops that I'd ever been at. And so this is where the idea kind of originally started and, and where we started hanging out with the crew and all the team members and like kind of learning their pain points and what they wish that they could have from a professional's perspective who like works in the industry every single day. And that's where the idea came from. So it's a big thing to have them, you know, validated, stamped, signed, however you want to call it. We're we're calling it validation. I know there's some fun in in doing that. The majority of people don't use paper logbooks. That number is declining. I'm shocked how many people still use them. Me personally, I think it's absolutely crazy people are still using them. I, I think it's shops just, I know I get some flack for this. So I know like you developed the app, of course you want people on it, but I just find it very, very, very annoying because it, it's for one it's like it's like carrying around a paper book about like your car maintenance or it's like a paper checkbook and i know people do it because it's fun and it's a novelty it goes back to that law of primacy first taught first learned but you know it's that's one of the reasons i'm so passionate about this just anything that can get us cleaner and get us there faster and do a better job at it i mean i can't tell you how many people i know that's like yeah i had my log books and they lost my luggage or we don't know what happened to them or they got soaked or and then they'll say oh they make waterproof ones we know we got your phone but there's so many things to remember on a dive it's th- that is actually one of the things that keeps people from diving is all the little tasks and i think some people look at it as a badge of honor having that book and say look at all this stuff but it's it, nothing wrong with it but like i see it and i watch it like hold up the whole group i see everyone trying to fumble to find it and you see these pages starting to rip it's like guys this is a wet sport um it's like come on everyone's gonna have their phones on the dive and i don't mind signing them i still do but i try and tell people about this because it's like this will be around you'll lose that book. you could lose that book right now on your trip home you got that signature from six years ago from i can't read it dive master like you're kind of screwed whereas this you you can actually link to their profile and and refer people to them right there and go back and find them when you travel to that you know i'm saying there's just i don't think the dive log uh book lobby is that strong like i like (laughs) i I don't think this is a billion dollar company anyways it's not like we're trying to put someone out of business uh or anything like that but it's just just everything with diving is so uh, slow to get caught up with the times. We're finally seeing dive computers and everything starting to catch up. Don't even get me started on equipment. The dive computers were the first ones, like really, that said like, well, we have all this information. Let's at least visualize it in an app. And so that's why there's so many of those and they're great and they work well with those watches. And then that's also why all the agencies said, oh, well, we also want to track the dive logs and we also want people to track their certifications. And so everything's catching 
catching up and now it's really like well everything's segmented so let's put it in one singular place and like that's what we're doing we go and we we make sure they're actually verified you know and so that means if you're an instructor or a dive master your certification is actually verified so when somebody adds you in the official validation section of their dive log and they select you as a professional to sign off or be the person who validates that log we know that person is a professional and they've attached their actual professional certification to the app and so that's how we can make sure that it's real but this is to actually give like some accuracy to those dive logs so that's really where it kind of started was like you said earlier it's a validation you're making sure that that log is valid and that professional who signed it is saying that and before it was just a signature that signature is not going to keep you in touch with that person so th i think that's the big Thing people are missing. I get people requesting to validate and it's like, okay, it's been a few days, you know, we all took off or whatever. It's always busy right after a dive. Everyone's gear everywhere. And so a couple days went by and then they'll come through and I'll be like, who's, oh, that's a uh, so-and-so, you know? And then now you got, you're like, you can go and see their social profiles. You can, and it like reconnects you. That's the trick with scuba diving, right? Is to find people to go with, to find reliable places. People still don't know where to go. The internet now has all that out there, but the problem is it has all of that out there and it's very hard to find what you're looking for. So this connects you. In your paper dive log, right, okay, you have two perspectives. You have the perspective like me, somebody who's like going on the dive and I want it signed by or validated by the professional. And then there's you, the professional who's working there every day, and you're the one who needs to validate so many logs. There's very different perspectives and needs from those people. And what we're trying okay. to do is solve both needs with one solution. And from say your perspective or a lot of other professionals perspective they love that sign they love to sign it but what's better about this is that now that that digital validation okay it's not a signature but your profile is directly linked to that person's dive log and every person who sees that dive log can then scroll down and see who validated it and go to your profile. So it's a way to continually promote yourself as a professional and also track dive logs you're validating and how many customers you have and reconnect with your customers. And then from my perspective, when I add you as my professional and people see my dive log, they're like, oh, I know who I want to go diving with now because Alexis went with Kenny and it was really great. And, and he's the one who validated her log. And so they can go to my dive log and see you, click on your profile, and from there, message you, see what shops you work at, and book from there. And really, like you said, the exposure and the linking of people is really the outcome of that. And from a technical point of view, it's actually being truly validated. And so we actually have some accuracy. It does something that I think most, especially students and new divers, aren't aware of. I've known of instructors teaching people that were currently out of status. You've got to have liability insurance, and you've got to pay every year your membership dues, whether it's to NAWI, PADI, SSI, SDI, whatever. So you've got to have insurance, and you've got to pay membership dues every year to stay active. And if either of those things aren't paid, you're inactive. I have personally witnessed instructors that were currently inactive teaching or leading in a professional. It happens all the time. And I've seen it also happen by accident. Like people don't realize something lapsed. They thought it was on auto pay, whatever the case may be, just like car insurance. Oh, yeah, and, exactly. Uh, I've actually walked into a shop before, I've told you this, and they wouldn't fill my tanks with nitrox because they couldn't look up one of my certifications and everything. And sometimes they have to be able to log into that agency, Nowy, Patty, whatever it is, a bunch of hoops to jump through. They've got to have a login to be able to do it. This allows people to verify that anyone is not only an active professional, but just their certifications with any agency. And that right there alone is worth everybody jumping into the app by itself.
Yes, I'm glad you think so. It just Ooh, creates a I'm lot at, of, yeah, transparency. There's a lot of transparency now. Yeah, yeah. And this lets the general public who may not, this is a little beyond, they, they already have a lot going on, right? To think, oh, I better check my instructor's valid. Most people aren't going to do that. On here, you can see it. You can see the expiration date. You can see all that stuff. As a dive center, being able to verify just a basic open water or let's say nitrox or something like that is also wildly helpful. I hate having to log on to those agency sites they can just pull it up you don't even have to see anything from a customer's perspective like me being the diver being able to see and check out your profile see that you're active and see that you're doing the right things allows me to like be really happy to link it to my dive log so every one of my buddies can go to you too it's a way to recommend more people to you you know, you just said something too that made me think. Someone's like, oh, I want to link up and dive with you. And I was able to go on there and look. And I was like, okay, they were doing a boat dive here. Okay, they're they're traveling. If they can travel and do different boat dives and do these murky dives and everything. And I see those were not that long ago. I was like, okay, this is not somebody I'm going to have to go, oh, oops, um, I'm going to have to babysit. So like I can get a sense of what they're doing, seeing their activity level. That's why it's like from your perspective, you're able to see who you're taking out. And from my perspective, Perspective, I'm able to see who am I going out with. Now say I go somewhere and they don't know what buddy is yet, but I still want my dive log digitally signed. I kind of run into the same problem that all the other agencies do, which is like, but you're not on buddy. So we've added the option. I can still have it signed. What I have to do is add in their email. So they don't have buddy, but I still want them to digitally sign my dive log. So I just say, okay, John Doe, like what's your email address? And so I'll put in their email address and it will send them an email with their buddy dive log. And we ask from the buddy side for that person who doesn't have buddy yet to still add their credentials. So without them having a buddy profile, we can still check that they're a real professional. And then we can allow that dive log to still be signed. That is a lot of work to accommodate somebody that doesn't want to download an app. It's not to accommodate them. It's to accommodate me as the diver, as the person who's paying for the to dive. Diver. The, because the, I the, want okay. my dive log signed and it's not up to me to get the dive professional to download buddy. I'm still paying for this dive and I go on it and this person doesn't have buddy and I'm like, well, I still deserve to have my dive log signed. And so from a customer perspective, I do feel like it's needed. I watch people come out of a locker room in a building with terrible service in it and no Wi-Fi. I will watch them download the app, set it up and get me by the time less than a minute i will literally get the notification while everyone's grabbing their bags of somebody that wants to uh be buddies even if you're not gonna live on it maybe you're still using something else just have it in the bag what you've already noticed you can do is if all the customers have buddy profiles you can go ahead and fill out the one dive log for all your customers and all your divers add them as your divers, and they will get that dive log in their profile. As a customer, I don't even have to fill it out. All of a sudden, I just open my app and there's a dive log from my instructor. I already validated this for you. And then I can go in and add my own pictures and I can add my own gear and I can add maybe more of the buddies that were on there. Like as a professional, instead of you signing and repeating to everybody, you just fill it out once and then you select their profiles and it sends it to them. And then it also links to your profile so they can come back and they can tip you. Yeah, tip you and find you again and refer you to friends and the whole, the life cycle. And so for the, the teachers, for the instructors, this is a great tool to actually really record the process of people learning and have more than just this paper log that you don't have access to after that student leaves. Yeah, you can go back, that's huge. You can go back and you can say, this was my student. Like I taught this person and look at all the places now that they're going and diving around the world. It just tightens and strengthens that community life cycle that's so fragile in scuba diving. Well, it's like handing somebody a paper business card. Hey, here you go. Maybe you hear from them, maybe you don't. They have your paper business card versus linking both of your contacts right there in the moment. You're both saved. You both texted each other. Boom, you have it. Yes. So it's 
the big one for me was it it, it transcended all agencies. Oh, yeah. That yeah, yeah. The top of the totem pole for me, there's a lot of benefits, but that was the one that made both my life as a professional easier. And I see it make, I see everyone's eyes light up in a room where there's five different agencies, Patty, Nowy, SSI, SDI, whatever, from the open water to the professional. And that's when people's faces start to glow. And that's when they whip their phones out. So I think that that validation and all the way through from the beginning to the professional is really the underlying uh infrastructure that makes this most credible platform for divers out there so oh, I, I think yeah. you said it not me just there it is uh so <laughs> I, just keep killing it i can't wait till the next one talk soon if you want to support my channel, go to sweetwaterscuba.com. We have all the good stuff like the shirts, the hats, the stickers, everything. Autographed kids books are on there and wholesale opportunities for retailers. Don't forget we're on almost every major channel. Put out daily content, new stuff all the time. I'm on live all the time. So hopefully I'll see you on either TikTok, Kenny underscore dial, Instagram, sweetwater underscore scuba, Facebook, just search me or just search me in your browser, Kenny dial. One of those should come up. Finally, the YouTube channel has all the podcasts and all of the short form stuff it actually kind of has everything in one spot either way i hope to see you on one of these apps on one of these pages whatever connects us to the underwater world i hope to see you there let's show the rest of the world the rest of the world